Hi, Ruth Sterling, 214 Washington Street, Keene. I, I, you didn't actually say pumpkin festival in the beginning, right? Is this the time that we should be talking about this? No, we can certainly talk. No, that's part of, part of the mayor, mayor's okay, council budget. So, we can talk about so um, events at this point. very briefly, we started uh, coming to you three years ago asking for support for uh, the best marketing program a city could have. Um, you asked us to find out who benefited from the pumpkin program and get their support, and we have succeeded in doing that. Uh, in, in this brochure that I call the Pumpkin Festival Bible, all of those logos are people who are contributing to King Pumpkin Festival. It goes up every year, and it's a substantial amount of businesses ranging in size from small proprietors downtown to large um, employers. Uh, their contributions will continue to be um, sought and collected and um, encouraged, but it doesn't change the fair market value of the marketing program that we're bringing to, to Keene. And um, we've demonstrated some wonderful improvements. I think we've got, gotten very um, positive response from the council and from the, the general citizenry about uh, improving things like the food and craft court and making that general flow of traffic uh, more comfortable for everyone, but particularly for seniors and handicapped people. We've um, introduced a pumpkin dump derby that was a uh, kind of radical innovation to take the 18 to 25 demographic, which had been identified as the most problematic demographic to the Keene Pumpkin Festival, and convert them to the most positive force for the Keene Pumpkin Festival. A, a group of teams of people who um, clean up 30,000 pumpkins in approximately 15 minutes. No one would have believed that could have been done before. I, I mean, truthfully, I wouldn't have believed it could be 15 minutes. I was hoping for an hour. So with innovation and creativity and by identifying clearly what the real problems are and going after those real problems and getting everyone's support for going after the real problems, Pumpkin Festival is becoming something we can be really proud of, not just a world record setting event that we all own a world record for. I mean, that's, that's wonderful and it gets us a lot of positive attention but uh, there's just so much more to it. We've introduced interesting activities for people of a variety of ages, so there aren't complaints about, there's nothing to do at Pumpkin Festival but look at pumpkins anymore. There's pumpkin bowling, there's um, a Ferris wheel that you can get a perspective of Keene that you have never seen before. You can be right in the middle of downtown Keene looking down 45 feet at our beautiful Main Street and helicopter up so to speak, and see Keene, uh, and be prouder than ever. It's just, uh, so all of these things have been introduced and have positive um, effects on people in all walks of life, but this city council's support is really important to us and to me. The votes, when, when you vote in support of Keene Pumpkin Festival, I take it very personally. And when you vote against Team Pumpkin Festival, I take it really, really hard. So 11 to 3 was, me, 11 to 3 was the vote for the license a month or so ago, and that was a hefty, supportive um, vote. But the people of this community voted. 30,581 votes in favor of Keene Pumpkin Festival. 30,581 wholehearted supported votes. And I want you to vote with them. I want you to, to believe that we can fix the problems, work together, and keep making this thing the thing we're all proud of. Thank you. Uh, so we are requesting a budget figure of $80,000, which is the same amount as 2008. Thank you. Are there any questions? Councilman. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, as I recall, last year you um, gave us uh, your um, what is it? Your annual report. Oh, great. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
I don't print many of them because they cost three dollars and I pay for them myself, but they are available on request and digitally at all times. Thank you. Are there any, any further questions? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh,